Hello and welcome to another Adam Source music review. So this week has been weird for me. Most of the albums I've been listening to this week are ones that I've already reviewed on this show. And I was looking around, looking through my relatively large pile of CDs, and I was like, what am I going to talk about this week? What have I been listening to that I haven't talked about yet? I mean, it's not like I'm wearing a shirt that gives a hint or anything. So, enough horsing around. Today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite bands. We're going to talk about Iron Maiden, one of the best English heavy metal bands ever. Yes. Today, we're going to be talking about their album, Power Slave. Now, to get this out of the way, Power Slave isn't my personal favorite Iron Maiden album, but I've been listening to this one a lot lately. I don't know why. I just saw it sitting there, and I was like, yeah, why not? I haven't listened to Power Slave in a long time. Power Slave was released by Iron Maiden in 1984, I believe. Yeah, 1984. That sounds about right. Yeah, 1984. And contains some of their more well-known songs, such as Aces High and Four, Two Minutes to Midnight. And is just really, really, really well done. It, it's the... In my opinion, it's... While it's not my favorite, I will admit it is the epitome of the just rock, like, not as progressive work that Iron Maiden does, if you're, if you're understanding what I'm saying. Like, the song structures aren't as complicated as some of the stuff they have later. And the lyrics aren't quite as... Like, I was going to say, I don't think the lyrics are quite as uh, well written on this album, but that's kind of a lie. I apologize for that. Uh, this album is just as well written lyrically, but I think this has more of a, let or excuse me, more of a realistic theme to it and less of a fantasy theme. Although there are, you know, the title track is a fantasy theme. Flash of the Blades is kind of a bit of a fantasy theme, but Aces High talks about fighter pilots, and Two Minutes to Midnight talks about the nuclear Armageddon that they were worried about in the '80s. So, you know, good stuff. Lyrically, musically, this is probably one of my favorite Iron Maiden albums in so far as like music. Like I'm not saying it's my favorite, but it's up there. Uh, songs like Aces High, Two Minutes to Midnight, uh, the instrumental Lost for Words. I'm just going through the track list in order. I'm realizing, uh, just great guitar work, wonderful rhythm, just leads, mm, just delicious. The the final track, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, is a wonderful, incredibly long song. As someone with ADD, it's hard for me to sit through the whole thing, even though it's a great song. I sit there and go, after a while. But, it's still pretty good. Now, how does it compare to other Iron Maiden albums, such as Number of the Beast, or... Peace of Mind, Seventh Son of the 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 Seventh Son. How does it compare to any of those? It's just as good. Iron Maiden's heyday was in the 80s. I'm not saying their new stuff isn't good, because that's good too, but compare this to any other 80s Iron Maiden album, and if that's what you're looking for, you will not be disappointed. Musically, it's incredibly well-written and enjoyable if you like 80s-style metal in the vein of Judas Priest or anything like that, the the British New Wave of Heavy Metal, as it's called. If you're into that, you're going to like Iron Maiden. If you if you don't already listen to Iron Maiden and you like heavy music, dude, dude, just go do it. That's your homework. That is your homework for me. Go listen to Iron Maiden and enjoy it. If you already like Iron Maiden, I don't know why you're watching this video, because you probably already know this is a good album. Last, I usually talk about the album artwork which I've always had a soft spot in my heart for Iron Maiden's album cover. The Egyptian theme on this I thought was really interesting. Uh, I like the interior artwork as well for the CD. I don't have this on vinyl. I wish I did. Uh, but the interior artwork on the inner sleeve with the sarcophagus with Eddie and all that stuff, and the CD itself with Mummy Eddie and the inside of the tray with Mummy Eddie coming through the wall. I just, I just think they're so awesome. Like There's just something great about Iron Maiden. Uh, as I said, the lyrics are fantastic, the music is fantastic, the vocals are fantastic, the 
artwork is fantastic. Just go buy this album. It's fantastic. This has been an Adam Source Music Review. Have yourself a great day.